Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. If you've modded your PlayStation 3 either using custom firmware or with the PS3 Hen exploit, then it's worth keeping an eye on websites such as Bruology or PSX Place, because you'll find that from time to time the firmware for your exploit will be updated with some new features. So that's what's happening here at the moment. So when I installed my Evil Nat um, custom firmware, I installed it at beta version 12. Now obviously that's been um, gradually upgraded and expanded and we're now at beta 15 and you can see here that this post on Bryology is showing me sort of what's been added over the past few months. So it's worth keeping an eye on this and if um, you find that um, your your firmware has been updated a few versions, it is actually worth upgrading it then. So it's not essential to upgrade because everything will of course work as it does at the moment on your machine. But if you want to take um, advantage of some of these new features that are being released, which again improve things like emulation for PS1 and PS2 uh, and, and so on, then all we need to do is to reinstall a new version of our firmware over the top of the old one. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. As I said earlier, uh, I have installed the EvilNAT uh, custom firmware onto my PlayStation 3. So this is, of course, the post showing the updates to that. So obviously, if you have used a different custom firmware or indeed the PS3 hen hack, you're going to need to go and find the installation files for the update for that package. But after that, everything else is exactly the same. So if we scroll down here, you'll see that there are a whole range of different features that have been added in this particular update. And of course, my installation was version 12, where we're now on beta version 15. So it has, of course, had quite a few updates since then. So if we come down to the bottom, we will see there is a link off to actually download our, our firmware um, installation files. So if we go across to there. We're now into the download folder. And again, the process here is pretty much identical to when you first installed your custom firmware. So we do need to make sure that we choose the right version. So I installed the PEX version whenever I did my previous um, custom firmware installation video. So if I come into here, we'll see then that we have our download file for this update. And all we need to do is to download this then to our PC. So I come across on this media one, we can see we have some download links over here. So I'm just going to go and, and download that. So once you've downloaded the file, you'll probably have some sort of archive file. So mine is a .rar file here, um, or, or you might find something like a zip file or something. So we do need to extract that to get at the files and folders inside it. Now, obviously, if you're using Windows, um, it will natively handle zip files. If you have got some other archive format, you may need to use some other programs such as 7-zip, or, or I use the iShampoo um, Zip Pro program. So whatever you use, um, we just need to extract that to get to the folders inside it. I'm just going to extract it into this folder here. So once you have those, the only folder we actually need here is this PS3 folder, but we're going to have to copy that across into a specific location on a FAT32 formatted USB drive. Now, if you're not sure how to create an FAT32 drive, then please do have a look at my previous tutorial on how to do that. But let's plug one in and get this file copied across and make sure that we put it in the correct place on that USB drive. So I've got my FAT32 formatted USB drive sitting here. I'm going to copy across these files. So with this particular um, firmware download, this PS3 folder is actually all we need. So I'm simply going to copy that across onto my USB drive. So what we're actually creating here is a PlayStation 3 firmware update drive. So it does expect it to be in a particular format. So again, the EvilNAT software that I've downloaded has created all the formatting for us. But what we should have, and, this, and again, if, if you are using a different firmware update, then do please check this. So we should have in the root of our USB drive, we should have a folder labeled PS3, again, all capitals. Inside that, there should be a folder named update, again, all capitals. 
And inside that, there should be a file named ps3updat.pup. Now, if, if you can't see the .pup extension at the end of that, you may find that you need to turn on file extensions on your um, a PC. So if you come into, into the view folder and come down here, we have file extensions turned on, but it must be this ps 3 updatpup and again, all in capitals. So if you have that file structure, then this USB drive is ready for use on our PlayStation 3. So let's jump across there and actually do the update. So on our PlayStation, I've plugged the USB drive into one of the front USB ports so that we have that available to us. If we come across on our XMB across to settings, we want to go into system update and we want to use our storage media to do the update. So that should scan our USB drive and then you can see it has found my beta 15 update. So I want to select that. This now brings us into basically our terms and conditions pages. So you can read through that if you want. But if I press the right button on my D-pad, it takes me across to the accept page. So once we get to there, it's obviously giving us a little bit of a warning um, as to what's going to happen. So we just need to make sure that we leave everything alone. I'm going to just come down and click this start button and that should then get started copying across the update data. So first of all, copies it across onto our system, then it's going to reboot and install the software. So once that's finished installing, it will reboot my system. And there you can see that we're back into our Evil NAT custom firmware. So at this point, my system is now fully up to date. I've got access to all of those new features and I'm ready just to go off and enjoy my PlayStation 3 as normal. So again, do make sure you do have a check to see if there are updates for your particular modification, whether it's your custom firmware or your PS3 hen. Uh, again, it is always good to keep them up to date because um, obviously there are lots of bug fixes going through, extra enhancements and things to just make the whole system run that little bit more, more smoothly. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Do please click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more PlayStation videos, um, general sort of gaming, making and electronics projects. I look forward to seeing you again very soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.